the sun has just come out and warmed up a slight bit but yeah we're back again we're back again and uh, <clears throat> it's a bit windy it's blowing about 14 15 mile an hour gusts um, which seem to be gusting all the time but we're in a different place we're on the river Humber we're just in a different place I'm literally 20 yards that's all 20 yards so it's not so bad it just saves me walking when I cast down there it saves me now walking 30 well it's probably what well, I walked to probably 40 meters so uh, it saved me a lot of walking towards the end of the session so uh, yeah I'm I've moved I'm in a different spot so it's a little bit more cramped I could have gone further back if there weren't so much debris from the water you know sticks and stones and bits of straw and stuff and you name it it's on there but um, yeah we'll try here I was virtually fishing in front of air in the last session what a session that was weren't it 52 codlin and cod I'm on now the last fish that you saw me reel in yeah it was a traumatic end for the fish I'm afraid it's my mistake and uh, we'll talk about that in a minute it's cut for the intro I hope you like that intro. <clears throat> Tom, Tom did that intro many, many, many months ago now. But yeah. Anyhow, yeah, the fish. It was my mistake because as the tide goes out here, you keep trying to fish to try and keep catching, don't you? And I'd had a great session. I said I wasn't going to fish it right to the end, and you do. But because I was so busy with the rods, casting out, baiting up, putting this rod away, and everything. I didn't see that the fish had beached itself and I've had three or four codlin now that have been disorientated when I've put them in the water and I've had to pick them up and chuck them back out again because they swim back into shore, a bit like a dogfish. And this one had done the same and I never noticed because I was so busy fishing and trying to make the video and excited that the poor bloody thing had beached itself and when I noticed it when I was packing up I scanned around and I thought what on earth's that down there? If I'm gonna have to go have a look went down and it was my cod my last cod I felt so guilty and so bad that when I was driving them I was gonna jack it all in which you might think is a bit a bit extreme but I would get so much enjoyment putting the fish back and watching them go away that me allowing that fish to die that didn't sink well with me and uh, I don't like it I just didn't like it but I'm here I ain't gonna give up fishing because I do enjoy it and I enjoy the filming as well. So let me sit down on my box. Right. So yeah, it's it was such a shame. I was like I say I was traumatized, but that's that fish die. Um that fish didn't die for any reason. It was it come off the hook. I had to run and get it before it because I beached it, but the water was still lapping over it. And yeah it, it was such a shame so i took the fish um you saw it in the last video i did an apology and stuff and an explanation and i gutted it and it was a male cod it was a male i was hoping it was a female it might have some roe but you know that i think they've set all their eggs now but it was a male cod and it had nothing in its stomach that's the that's the other thing so you know it just the guilt just built up and built up and built up with me and you know how much i rattle on like i'm doing now about it but yeah it was a male fish it was trying to fill its belly up because it was must have been hungry but it's in my freezer now i've gutted it washed it cleaned it inside and out i've left the head on as i always do because it helps you to fillet it but i'm i'll take it out of the freezer fillet it and then I'll have one piece one night and then the next night I'll have the other piece of cod and we'll keep it in the fridge so uh, I'm looking forward to eating it 
Um, so yeah, so if it dies, I will take it home. It just didn't sit well with me that I'm rattling on again. I'm just going on and on, aren't I? But it's it's me. You know, this is me. This is my channel. I do go on. I do rattle on. For those that moan about me rattling on and there's no fishing, you know. Uh, what can you say? I could say sorry, or I could just say go watch another channel, couldn't I? You people watch my channel because of me rattling on, moaning, ranting, got an opinion sometimes whether it's right or wrong, and catching fish and fishing. So I appreciate all my subscribers that watch me for that. I'm not going to go on about the cod anymore because I'll go into a, I'll have to go for counselling again. <laughs> so uh, yeah things happened don't they but it was my fault that happened it was not the fault of the fish or deep hooked or anything else it was my fault so I ain't doing that again when it gets near the end I should be checking the fish are okay and everything else and make sure that they do go back I found a flounder as well. I was having a bit of a nightmare session there was a little tiny cod that I chucked back there was a flounder that beached itself what a flounders doing bleep beaching itself I chucked that back I checked when I found the cod I checked all the way along the shoreline um, 20 30 meters up and down and it was hard work doing that on the slippery mud and stones but there was nothing else there so lesson learnt there must improve at this river I s always check at the beach you know I do and uh, you can see it easier on the beach because it's flat sand and you can see a fish there and you think bloody hell I need to go and you run over don't you or hobble but in these rocks it's hidden and I just never saw it so what a glorious day now it's rained all day it is Sunday it is the 23rd and uh, yes I shall fish with you again soon Keith just needed to get out today on my own see if I fall over again eh I fell over in the last video as well that was a bit of a slow motion fall over my right foot went and my ankle's been hurting all week it's all right now um, I haven't mentioned my ankle hurting because this is the first time I've spoken about it but you know yeah it did hurt but it weren't too bad it weren't making me limp it just hurt in me ankle joint but yeah slipped over fell it was like I'm down and kept going I couldn't stop myself but it was like in stages because I fell down onto this hip and then went down and rolled and it's always good when that camera's running that's all I'll say but um Hopefully there's no more rain. It's been raining all day. Time is now six o'clock. Water is four or five meters away from the shoreline. Soon I'll be able to walk to this end corner and cast out into there, which will be my uptide rod. And we'll start fishing. There is no more blood yellow tails. Me, me, uh, me bait supplier me bait supply the chap that supplies bait that I go to let's say that because that's the correct thing um, yeah he's not getting any more yellowtails now they're harder to come by apparently but there's a season for them I think they then let them rest a bit or some people might let them rest others don't but yeah so will we catch any cod today in the last video I caught cod codling on ragworm I have got half a pound of ragworm under that cloth down there in that box and that's what I'll be using tonight so ragworm squid I've got some fresh blacks wrapped they're that long I can cut them in half so I might try some of them as well if the ragworm aren't delivering we shall go on to black lug and try that so got both for celly rods got my spin fisher reels as usual I was going to bring my 12 foot thick spool icon rods but even though they've got huge eyes on for the which are bigger than these eyes actually so it'd be good for the weed with these rods being long when i'm stood down on the good stones down here my rod sticks out a long way and hopefully i can get them over that without getting snagged up now it doesn't always work i've just straightened a hook that got bent in the last session and sharpened them so uh it don't always work but the setup that I've got with these 4.2 meter Vasellis, or are they four and a half? Let's go have a quick look. Seem to be perfect format for this river. 
four and a half metre. Bloody hell, they're big, aren't they? Don't like, not keen. I do like them. I do like them, but I prefer two piece rods. But that's what we're doing. So up tide rod will be going over there shortly, very shortly. And uh, the other rods, we'll put ragworm on them and let's see how it all goes. Let's hopefully catch another codlin because we are the 24th, 24th, 23rd of April. And uh, yeah, well, the last session, the last video, what a session that was. Um, there was other people on this bank that wouldn't talk to me or talk very little and wouldn't give any inf information because I was that guy off YouTube. Um, but they left early. I don't know what they caught because they never said, never talked to me on the way back. So that's just the way it is. But I caught six. If they'd spoke to me, I could have told them I caught six. So I ain't got a problem. Yeah, but what a session. That was a cracking session. My best session so far. Personal best again. And I come to that session and I thought to myself, there is no way I'm going to catch four codlin in this session. Because, you know, catch three or four or five, which I've done. And I've caught threes. I might have caught a four before, again. I'd have to go through all my videos, but I ain't doing that. It was hard enough going through counting how many I've caught. Um, I didn't think I would catch four in that session, but what a show that was. I caught six in the end, past 50. I'm on 52 codlin now, and that's definite. I've got that logged in air now. I've got it all listed at um on a post-it sticker. And uh, yeah, what a year season I've had on the cod. 52 in total up to now. Possible chance of catching another tonight. Coddling or cod. Um, and I ain't fussed either. I ain't bothered. But what a show it's been. From summer, autumn, winter to spring. We're in spring now. 52 codlin caught and plus cod. And uh, yeah, my last fish in that last session, that was over five pound in weight. And that was a cod. Just wish it had had a fuller, but now that big whopper cod I'd caught, had a, it was twice as round as that one. That one weighed five pound one ounce. So God knows what my whopper one, people said six, maybe six and a half. Perhaps they're right. Perhaps it weighed more. It was huge. It was like that round its belly, but. Anyhow, I'm, it's pl I'm pleased this sun's out, it's bright, and I'm facing into it because the wind's blowing this way north. I might spin my shelter a bit because I can only see the water over there. And I like looking at the water, but I can't see it. So, anyhow, this has gone on long enough. It's 13 minutes 49. I'm sure Tom will cut out some of the erms and ahs and that sort of stuff. But yeah, did anybody's phone go off at three o'clock? My wife's did because she forgot to turn it off. But mine didn't because I turned off my notifications and the wife said, well, she's turned hers off and it still rung, so she couldn't have turned it off properly, could she? But I did. And uh, I was wearing my tinfoil hat at the time as well. So uh, yeah, I ain't gonna get shazammed or shazard or or uh, open sesame or any whatever else you want to yeah, wings the size of a bloody, uh, I don't know, of an elephant. Do you remember that program? What was that called? It was on the banana splits on a Saturday. God, what was that called? I don't know, anyhow. Put, the put it in the comments if you remember. You know what it is. Bloke used to put his hands up and say, blah, and he'd turn into a rhinoceros or something. Right, anyhow, that's enough of that crap. Look, we're four meters to the shore. Next time you see me, I'll be casting out and uh, give me time to have a bit of coffee, take my painkillers so that I'm uh, fighting fishermen. Do you know what I mean? So I'm ready for it. See you in a bit.
Oh dear. Well, I cocked up there because I cast it to the right and it went bloody right. Didn't want it to go that right, if that makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I might have to walk right round the corner to reel this one in. Um, hopefully, I won't get a bite yet until the tide comes in more because then I'll be able to not have to walk so far to pull it in. What a stupid thing to do, but never mind. Dear. It's right at the edge. It's right at the edge. Never mind. I might be able to chuck another rod out in a minute. We'll get that baited up and I'll bring you back. But yeah, we're fishing. Water's in on that side there. We've got about a metre, metre and a half there before it hits the rocks. Did I want to walk over them rocks? No. Wind's blowing this way straight on to me. Just from over there really so if I send it right it goes further to the right because of the wind once the weight has lost its inertia from the cast the wind just takes it so right I'll get this Vaselli baited up we're fishing two hook flappers all the way so uh, got size 1 -oh hooks on I think and size two hooks on what I've just chucked out on the uh, jimmy rod so see you in a bit make a lot of difference to your cast that's for certain a lot less room on there I've got um, loads of uh, straw and stuff I could have put the bigger the igloo further back did you notice look at this We've got the Ingold's Igloo. Now, some of you are thinking, then you've got a Bigaloo. Yes, yeah, very observant. Yes, I have got a Bigaloo, but I've now got an Igloo. And all I can say is, thank you very much, Danny, for uh, not fixing your Igloo and giving it to me after I cheekily said, don't throw that out, I'll have it. And uh, Danny brought that up when he came up to have uh, a five hour chat with me we never went for a meal we just chatted the whole time and uh, he brought my fishing rod up he went and i paid for it and he went and picked it up and i've got a second sandstorm now so you will be seeing them sandstorms in action on a beach soon they're only a 12 foot rod but we'll see how far we can cast them and hopefully bring in fish on them on the old multiplier but yeah it is been repaired if you see here There's the repair, right there. There is a video showing that repair and it will be put up. I've only got to show it, film it in the back garden, all uh, done on a nice day. And then I'll ask Tom if he can 
do it and put it up and we'll put it up on a Sunday perhaps just so a little short video on a Sunday will be good I hope I don't get snagged up with this uptide rod because I cast it too far to the right and the wind took it back in still never mind it is blowing a north northeast wind today I haven't had that before normally it's always a southerly sometimes an easterly but I might have only got caught out once we're air fishing we'll see what we catch you see now for me the uh, pressure oh gosh look at this I ain't even baiting up and getting the other rod out of me the pressure's off me now I've yes it would be nice to catch a double figure codlin cod but I feel if that happens it just happens you're lucky you're fortunate um I've set personal bets after personal bets this time. I've already spoke about this, but to pass 50 codlin stroke cod, and I'm actually on 52, is a huge achievement. I've had personal bets along the way. I've had my biggest fish at 60. Oh, don't get me wrong on this. It might be 64 centimeters, could be 63. I think it was 64. Um, over a six pound fish I'm just going to say that could have been more I think it was more I didn't think cod weighed as much as they did but they do for the size um, it's just been a roller coaster and like I say to catch and pass 50 fish after I finally checked all through all my videos counting them up about three times yeah 52 unbelievable um, let's hope today we catch another make it 53 um, I do want to catch any fish today I don't care what it is as long as I catch a fish keep the blank at bay it would be nice if it was a cod wouldn't it it would be nice if it was a cod I'll just get this baited up onto the other rod I don't know well I caught a codlin off ragworm the other day in that last video so let's hope because there's no more yellow tails I am gutted but Scott at Quids and Bait he put so much effort in he put so much effort in don't bite me put so much effort in in um, getting yellow tails and keeping them alive changing the waters every day and night over and I think he started in October and he's this week he hasn't gone and got any so it's now over uh, I think he was ready for a break from it but he has all sorts of bait he has rag um, each week he's got fresh rag which I believe people want for um, for bass I don't know what else rag catch it does catch codlin so I'm sure it'll catch other fish it'll obviously catch flounders soles I'm gonna keep going and getting some rag off him throughout the summer so I'll uh, just take a detour when I'm going over on the beaches um need a soul so we'll 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 catch a soul and we'll hopefully might even catch a bass this year don't seem to catch many bass something i ain't too fussed about either but we'll do our best won't we we will do our best and uh with my frozen baits and a bit of fresh worm you never know what we'll catch this year i am there's the whole reason for the third rod because I would have fished my third rod this year anyhow the bass one but thanks Jimmy you uh, got me the new rod uptide rod which is what I was looking at as well for the increase my catching you know, that didn't go well did it I didn't go well at all because I was talking that's the first one on I'll get this baited up I need to concentrate rather than yapping and that um, putting two rag on this one probably a tip of squid as well and send it out could have a bite could have a fish on there already but let's get this chucked out I'll bring you back when I do it see you in a minute right right we've got two ragworm on there 
and squid. I haven't took my painkillers yet. I'm going to take my painkillers because um, struggling a tiny bit. Didn't cast out too far, but it don't matter. You don't need to cast out far. I've got a bite. Oh, we don't want too many of them, do we? <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. Let's watch this. See if it is a bite. There's two hooks on it anyhow. I expect there'll be a flounder. Could mind it could be a small codling, couldn't it? That'd be really good. Absolutely fantastic in fact. So see you in a bit. Right, I'm gonna check this uh uptide rod. I'll take you with me. I'm gonna have to go up here. I have to hold you and the rod <sighs> otherwise it'll get snagged up as I walk onto the sorry if it's a bit jumpy but I've got a tripod hanging I've got a reel there oh I've got a good hand there jeez I'll go over here because I know it's further round oh you bugger my hip <sighs> I ain't going down there I'll probably fall I ain't casting to the this far again Oh Christ, I'm going to have to go over here. I'll let you. Let me see where we are. Battery's nearly run out. Well, the battery's nearly out. Nothing on that, it was bobbing up and down, but all my line was underneath. Let me get up there. Oh. Will I get up them cliffs? Who knows? Time will tell. I'll get up with me, Tom. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, it was bobbing as though it had a fish on it, but it didn't. Um, it was because the line had gone underneath all the bladder rack and obviously that moving around was knocking the rod So once I got the leader not on the spool uh, Quite a few turns I give it a good yank and it pulled it out Got it in bait still on the hooks um, But no fish So I shan't cast that so far right next time next time when you see me cast it'll be not so far right so Still haven't took my painkillers. Let's get this baited up and chucked out and uh, hopefully catch a fish, flounder, summit on it. See you in a bit.
bloody went right again. Wind just takes it. As soon as it goes up, the wind takes it. It's only a small rod. Doodle do. Right, I put some wet seaweed on top of my worms to try and keep them cool. That's wet. You can only do your best, can't you? Put that over it because the put that over it because the sun's on it. So yeah. Right, well, I'm gonna have to change this battery. We're on 32% been a good battery and uh, I'll put it on charge and use it again I tend to as they run out put them on charge and then I end up just using the same two batteries so I don't know if that's good or what but I shan't do it all the time rods are moving because it's windy um, it is blowing up to 14 mile an hour gusts which isn't too bad I've fished a lot worse I've fished double that and some and it was a nightmare but you just you just start thinking don't you springs on it's what springs air isn't it and uh you just wanna you just want to be basking in sunshine don't you and you want to catch the tides so uh, during the day as well don't you in daylight uh, i shall do some other nighters on the beaches as i always do i will be on my own and uh well i'll have tom with me as well tom might actually well, not actually, that's the wrong thing to say. Tom is coming. But, uh, yeah, Tom's got a new little dog. He's just picked up a dog yesterday from Wales. He drove all the way from Lincolnshire to Wales and drove back the same day. Picked a little tiny puppy up, a bit of a little thing. It's a Labrador um, Collie Cross. So, uh, typical farm dog, working dog. It's a nice little puppy. It's brown and white all mottled and patterned and uh, yeah it's a nice little dog so went and saw it this morning had a cuddle with it it's a girl as well so you'll probably see me and Tom fishing with his dog on the beach yeah try and talk him in to get a YouTube channel up while well, it's a puppy so people can bond with the dog and follow his channel on this dog please leave comments on this video if that's what you'd like to see I know it's not fishing orientated, but you will see the dog fishing with us. But it's, uh, yeah, drop it in the comments if you want to see, uh, see uh, Jesse is his dog's name. And my daughter's dogs, you know, it's their dog. Yeah, got that to, sorry about that, I kicked it. Got that to look forward to as well. It's always something, isn't there, you know, that people pick up on on the videos that they like. So. Hopefully I'll go fishing with Duke again, but I can't do that unless I've got someone with me. As he pulled me over, because he's a big strong brute. Painkiller's done. I'm going to switch off. Sun's up there. What a cracking sunshine. Clouds are just behind, in front of it. The rod's moving. Don't know if it's a fish or not. And I don't know how long I'm going to fish here tonight. I might actually fish, and when I've caught some, I might slow down a bit. Would like to catch a codlin. I wouldn't like to say that I wouldn't, you know. I would, I'd like to be honest and say that I want to catch a codlin. Sorry about that, it fell off. But, um, fingers crossed we'll get one or two. But I don't want to fish it all the way down because it is treacherous on them rocks. And I've just cast my little uptide rod to the right. It's gone too far right, so I'm going to have to go on the rocks again. I might not reel that in until the water's up, covering the rocks, so I can just reel it straight in. So I'll see you in a bit when I bring you back for the next exciting instalment of Van Sea Fishing. Don't forget, if you got this far and you're a new watcher, consider subscribing. Click the bell for notifications. Give us a thumbs up because it helps the algorithm. As long with subscribing helps the algorithm. As long as, as long as, not as long as, as well as, um, 
leaving a comment so if you like got this far and you want to do all that please do if you don't want to because you think what an absolute numpty why am i still watching him well, there's a reason why you're still watching isn't there because i'm i'm oh that rod went there's a reason isn't there and you've just got to s submit to it just submit to it and uh yeah click subscribe if not thank you for the view if you think that i'm a nutter an idiot whatever i don't care thick skinned i'm ginger i've had all that in the past just makes you hard skinned so yeah if you don't want to do all that thanks for the view that's rattled on again you see this is what i do i rattle on i normally say it short and sweet and that's it normally say it at the end sun's in my eyes i'm not moaning not complaining because i can feel the heat off it i think when that sun goes in it will be hat on and it might be a coat see you in a bit right let's see what's on this rod and then we'll get it reeled in the water's come in more now so we're gonna have to go down there so it's again you're gonna have to i'll apologize now for the jumpiness because uh oh, because uh my face is probably all lit up because i've got the full power light on you can't worry about that this is uh this is real fishing things go wrong Hey, we'll do it this way, shall we? Oh, oh. Oh, oh, we got a fish! We got a fish! We got a fish! We've got bloody two. We've got two codlin. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Oh, let me get these in the bucket. I want, don't want any to die this week. <sighs> Does my head in. You just want to catch and release. That's all I do. It is a little bit fresh air today. Now that rod's been tapping away and I thought I've got two hooks on it. It's in close. <sighs> well, that's 54. <laughs> Let's get him unhooked. Let's get him unhooked. I'll get him unhooked and I'll bring you back and get you a show. They're only little coddling fingers, but we're happy with that, aren't we? I am anyhow. That's 54. Cog run goes on and the blanks I've not blanked. I've not blanked since end of August. So my first session, I think the first session I come back off holiday, I've caught my first codlin in summertime. Um, yeah, I'm going to turn you off. I'm right happy now. I've just been talking to Brett. Go check Brett Fishing Diaries out. He's in Galston. Uh, he's a good lad. He's uh, started sea fishing. He does carp fishing as well. Um, he's a nice lad and uh, hopefully you'll enjoy his channel. His shit stinks, but their news don't. Mine, whew, whew. yeah, do you know what I mean? Everyone's does, doesn't it? But don't hold that against him for whatever sake, sake. Anyhow, I'm rattling on. I'm going to unhook these codlin, they're in the bucket, and then I'll bring you back for a show. He's having fun. I don't blame him. 
We've got one at 22 centimetres. And another one at 22 and a quarter centimetres. They unhooked okay. Brilliant. Absolutely chuffed to bits. So let's get them out and show. That's one. That's two. So let's get them back. Two codlin. I don't know what to say. Um, I really wasn't expecting it. was only a week ago when I was last, well, six days, I think. Yeah, week on Monday, went, so tomorrow's a week since I caught the six, so. I'll get this uptide rod. Caught on the Jimmy rod. <laughs> so I'll, I'll get that baited up again. Two up flat, a size two hooks. Um, just trying to catch anything flounder, codlin, I'm really going to watch this water's edge even when it gets dark. Don't want any more dead fish. And, uh, but I ain't done bad. 54 fish and I think I've lost, well, 54 fish and I might have lost three or four. Definitely lost three because I've got three in my freezer. So there was a fluke of one that disappeared. He could have sunk, couldn't he? They're gone. And they were only lit booked. One took it down a bit, but it comes straight out with the disgorger. They were both swimming about in there. So, two 22 centimetre codlin. One was a little bit other, 22 and a quarter. But we ain't quibbling about that. So I'm chuffed to bits. That's not a blank. We've kept the blanks at bay. We've come to a different, slightly different mark. We're only 20 yards down from where I normally fish. It just helps me walking, so I've got less to walk. Thought I'd try somewhere different. It's not as good as where I normally fish because this little section of beach isn't as big. But we're caught, we're off the mark. We caught two codlin and uh, yeah, that's 54. Will we get to 60 today? Who knows? I ain't fussed, to be fair. And uh, that was one for the wife there. So uh, she don't like me saying, to be fair, but everyone says it. Tom says it, Mike says it. Um, people at work says it, everyone says it apart from my wife and she don't like it. So I'm really trying to stop saying that but brilliant. Two fish caught, blank gone. I'm at 54 now, I've only got six more to get to 60. Can't believe it. I'm going to get this baited up and get it back out. Next time you see me I'll be casting out the Jimmy Uptide Rod and uh, yeah, make sure you tune in for that. Oh, it's getting foggy. Give me up the tide rod up. I'm going to reel this in before I reel in, chuck out the up tide rod because it's in the way. Got ourselves a dab. One baby flounder. 
from Florida and it is 23 centimeters. All unhooked okay. One flounder, 23 centimeters. This chick that's filming. We gotta say it, haven't we? Yeah, it's filming. Oh, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. So we'll get that chuck back. That's three fish, flounder and two codlin. that um, I'll get this little uptide rod chucked out now and then chuck it out again the big rod out after a bait we'll just leave you on while I chuck that out you'll see me chuck it out over there I ain't gonna take you with me That was a better cast, but we caught two on the poor cast. Right, I'll get this, uh, I'll get this for Sally, bait it up with some uh, ragworm, and we'll chuck it out. Yeah, I'm, this is just purely a leisure session today. All the pressure, and it's only pressure that let's have a quick chat before i chuck that out that's how ledger we are i had uh, loads of rants that had wound me up during the week but time you get here you're all calm ain't you but one of them was people walking around when you drive into a car park in a shopping center everyone just walks around as though they're in charge of the the uh runway don't they let's call it and uh what happens is we all do it once you're out of a car you think you've got control and that you're in power for what you do and you get in the way of cars and you look at cars in a disgruntled manner don't you we all do it if you'd say you don't do it then uh, you don't do it or you're a fibber but we all do it and then when you're in the car you're shouting at the car drive at the pedestrians and then when you're one of the pedestrians you're shouting at the car drivers <laughs> that's life until people realize that and uh, accept it nothing else in the world will change whether it's about the uh, racism or 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 anything else people have to realize that we're all on a scale of one to ten at fault and uh, i understand that but it still don't stop me moaning about it so you know so yeah i was gonna have a moan about people getting in the way people drive walking across the road with two dogs and walking doing fairy steps and I'm thinking are you going all right and then they look at you like that and you think oh you know but you just get on your way get to your job and do your job don't you but why are people like that why do we all do that because I sometimes do I don't tend to do it so much now as I've got older because I realize what we're all like or what I'm like and other people are the same because i see it so uh yeah until you realize it you don't change your ways do you now then i can't remember what i was going to say we've had two codlin codlin fingers and we've had a da uh, flounder still ain't caught a dab this year yet i'm the dab king as well you know i'm not only am i the king of cod i'm the king of dabs 
but I ain't had one yet. So um, yeah, I had a nice chuck out with that uptide rod. What I'm gonna do is, is bait this for Sally up and then I'll bring you back and cast out. Uh, sun has gone now. It's behind loads of clouds. There's a bit of pink in the sky where it's reflecting up. As you can see over there, possibly. But yeah, I'll bring you back in a sec when I cast this because I can't remember what I was going to say because I've just started off on a tangent rattling on about something else. See you in a second. as I wanted it, but it's out there. Yeah, all three rods are out. We are fishing again. Um, bait was all still on that rod when I brought it in. Wind's died a little bit, I think. Not a lot, but a little bit. Looking very blue and grey over there, though, look. But it was in the last session and nothing come of it. <clears throat> Don't forecast rain tonight. So hopefully we'll fish this. I'm not gonna fish it until the rocks go right down. John Spolton know what it's like here, and it does get very, very slippery and treacherous on them rocks. I haven't fell over on the rocks yet. I fell over on these stones down there when the ridge give way. A bit like at the nap when I fell down there. So uh, the pebbles just go from under you. You have to be careful, and I wasn't. But yeah, the bait come in on that end rod and it was still all there with the tips of squid on as well. So I've cast it out and it went slightly to the right a bit, but it hasn't crossed this line in the middle. And my uptide rod, well, it's doing the business, isn't it? So. Oh, 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 oh. Bite, 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 bite. Did you see that? Did you see that? There's one fault I've got with this igloo. This igloo here, which I ain't got fault with it really, it's just a hindrance. On the big igloo, it's got a door and a pole, and it's very heavy. Fantastic though, fantastic. But they have Velcro straps here. I use them Velcro straps for putting a light on, and I can't do that because there's no Velcro straps because there's no door. But I have got a hook here so I'm gonna have to figure out tie something but then the light ain't gonna go where you want it to go so I might have to get a bit of velcro on that and uh, thread it through so that I can put a light on it because I have a light up high which helps with the video but I'm gonna put me other lights up there hopefully it'll light everything up I'll probably put a light on the side here on the igloo as well I'm gonna keep watching these rods because I think they're tapping away. Could be the weight moving, we'll see. Next rod to come in will be the uptide rod. Uh, I've had a rag first, little tiny scratting on my thumb from a ragworm's pincers. Didn't pierce my skin, but when I felt it, I was like, whoo, like that. Oh, sorry if I made you jump. Didn't mean to do that. Boom! 
I'm sorry about that. When I said that at first, I then thought, why don't I go boo in the screen? Yeah, I'll not do that again. Boo! Them rods are tapping about. Might be a fish, could be the weight moving, we'll see. Yeah, so let's have this, want to make this video long, so it's a good length, you know, hour, hour and a half, hopefully. But um, you never know, do you? Because I'm not going to fish it all the way down. My body's really warm in this coat. Um, but I can't help thinking that I should have put my salad pets on before I put the coat on, because then I'd be roasty toasty. But uh, yeah, I ain't, I ain't cold. But um, main thing is my neck is warm hate a cold neck i've just got to that age which is this year and uh when your neck gets cold i can't deal with it so i have i've got two neck snoods on um and I, I feel okay i'm not cold but the wind's blowing up my coat and uh, if i had salopettes on it wouldn't be doing that i'd be roasty so i'll bring you back when these rods start doing some real good action we want some action on the rods, don't we? Action. Right, I've got a bite on this rod. Uh, the little one. Me Jimmy Uptide rod. I think that's what I'll just call it, the Jimmy Uptide rod. Look at that sky. There's no sun, but it's obviously reflecting up. The moon's up there, look. Up there, somewhere right there. Somewhere in that area is the moon. It's only a little bit of a cheese slice, you know. Now I've had a tap on this jimmy rod, so I might just reel it in, freshen it up and chuck it out again. The wind has died down now, so it's a lot better than it was. <clears throat> yeah, let's reel it in and have a look. But I don't know where I can cast it, because all the lines have gone to the right. It is gone high water. The time is... 20.45 so uh, yeah, it's, it turned out nice I mean this morning when I woke up and it was absolutely chucking it down um, I did check the weather and knew it would stop at 3 and it stopped at about uh, 3, 4 but yeah I weren't, I weren't up for it really I was like oh, look at the weather because you want it nice and sunny don't you but yeah, it's not bad. I'm here now. It was windier before. The wind has died down. Um, we caught two codlin, caught a flounder. I'm pleased I ain't blanked. You know, if I don't catch anything else I've caught, I don't think I'm going to fish it all the way down. You'll have to wait and see, won't you? So, um, yeah, I don't know whether to bring that in. I might just wait a few minutes and then bring it in. I've uh, got a light up here, um, wasting the battery. But they last for ages, and I'm only going to be here for probably another two hours. So uh, we've got plenty of power there. We've got lights here. So we've got lights. We sure all lit up. Should be all all right. I've got another one on there if I need it. But yeah, it's just waiting for these to knock. But this one just knocked. So I could have a fish on. It might be a flounder. It could be a small codling, couldn't it? There is two hooks, and that's the first time I've seen it move. I might leave it five minutes. If I see it knock again, so be it. If it does, I could have a second fish on. Um, but if I don't see anything in five minutes, I'm going to bring it in anyhow. See you in a bit. Look at that sky. And then it goes all dark and moody. All right, let's get this uptide rod reeled in.
Got ourselves another flounder. Need to run up that. Oh, took the up down to get that in. There we go. Panic over. Right. Right, 23 centimetres. One flounder. Let's get it back. Seems dark. Seems dark. But um yeah. My lights are probably not right. Let me just sort these lights out there. That's a bit better I think. Certainly lighting the ground up there, so you must have me and my glory. So we're on two flounder. All this wetness there, look. What's all that about? Dirty me bloody coat up. So we're on two codlin and two flounder. And we're ready for another chuck out as well. So let's get this camera sorted. Get us for a chuck out. Oh no. I'll find it. Hope we don't cross lines. Well, hang on a minute. That's, uh, that cast is out, more to the right. Um, right, now then, I've just lost my filter off my light. I'm gonna quickly go look for that and then we'll be back. I've cast it a lot further to the right because I had to miss this other line on this rod air, so. Yeah, the lights don't seem to be as bright as normal. They are. Bloody hell, fire. God, get her off. Bad a bit. Bloody trip ads, it's everywhere. And with my hip, it does my head in. So, well, it's good that we're still catching, put it that way. It'd be nice if it was another codlin, but we caught two. Keep the run going on them. And it took us to 54. 54! <laughs> oh, chopped a bit. Fuck her off! Anyhow, I'm gonna get these lights and turn them off. Um, that's the thing. And uh, yeah, what am I gonna do? Look for my piece of filter. If not, I've got 
What's the matter with that? Why is that doing that? Coat's freeing up, isn't it? That's what's happening. Whereas before it was all stiff, it's starting to free up now. That's better, that's out of the way, possibly. But there. So we're at high water. Time is six minutes past nine. Yeah, what can I say? What can I say? Just needed to come out today. It got to the afternoon and I just thought to myself after in the morning, just thought to myself, ah, I've got to go. Um, and I uh, text, um, I'd book my bait, but if I don't use my bait, I'll just give him the money for it. Anyhow, even if I don't use it because I'm in the book. So uh, if I choose not to go, that's my own problem. But I decided and I said to him, I'll be there at four-ish, let's say. I think it was four-ish. And rolled up there at quarter past. Picked my bait up and come here. I just need to get out to blow some cobwebs out. With things not going to plan in the house. Um, and being way late doing what I'm doing. But the wife helped me yesterday. And she hovered and cleaned all the walls down upstairs. Because bloody plumber cut these bath panels, shower panels, and that plastic went everywhere. So it's all clean up there now. I've done all the doors. Um, I've corked all the front room out, stairs and everywhere, so I can paint down, but I can't do any work in the front room and kitchen and that because it still needs to be finished with the electrics. Once the dirty work's done, it's just connecting all the sockets and lights up, I can start painting everywhere but I can do the bedrooms now so I just needed to come today to blow the cobwebs away and it certainly has I was a bit concerned I wouldn't catch on ragworm I'm only fishing ragworm I have got some squid but if I'm catching them on ragworm brilliant I could stick out a squid bait I suppose for a cod I might might do that on one of the big rods um, squids opened I might actually bait elastic up and stick it up. Nah, um, I might do, I might not. See, it's just cushy fishing today, just to blow the cobwebs away. And just putting a worm on a hook is easy. There's no elastic, there's no gunge going everywhere so much. Ragworm are quite dry. And yeah, it's just relaxing. And that's all I needed today. Keith wanted to come out fishing with me. And I nearly said to him, yeah, but I just weren't in the right frame of mind. So uh, I just wanted to be here on my own. Don't take offence, Keith. I've fished with you twice now. And uh, the third session's coming up soon. But sometimes with me, I'll always fish with people, but sometimes with me, I just need to be on my own because that's what fishing's about for me sometimes. It's just nice being on the own. And I can release my thoughts through the camera to you lot. Uh, you lot being my uh, ace subscribers and uh, yeah I leave here a lot calmer drive home chuffed to bits the drive never seems so long on the way home and it's another video in the bank I've enjoyed myself blown the cobwebs away relaxed and tomorrow hopefully electrician will turn up and I'll stay calm and uh, the house will move on next week hopefully I'll hit that with paint and electrician will come tomorrow and I can just bang it out and get the painting done. So, uh, see you in a bit when I uh, reel these in. I'm going to turn my lights off and look for my filter. Right, I'm going to reel this middle for Sally Rod in. It's moved a couple of times, and then I can freshen a bait up cast out again. So.
behind the filter, it had just gone on top of the path and got caught in the grass. So, yeah, brilliant. That's how I'm quite chuffed. I've got, bought them. That was the last of my money. Or else I'd have uh, bought some more rats off Scott. So, yeah, first time I've used uh, fresh. Well, the blacks are a rat. They aren't. Which I suppose they're fresh, aren't they? But they've been popped. I've had them from uh, over the river before, but first time I used them from Scott, and uh, yeah, they're like that. So I probably could have cut them in half, but I put a full one on each up. I'll probably bring this shotgun rod in, meet Jimmy Uptide Rod, and I shall probably put a black lug on that as well. But they're only small up, so I'll probably cut that in half. Tip it with squid. The infamous Keith Cod. He caught all his fish on black lug, you know, when I was using fresh yellows. So fresh bait don't always work, but you're better off having fresh bait and using that than, uh, and I suppose black slaps are fresh, about as fresh as you get where your guts popped out. Yeah, the wind's still blowing this way. Uh, shelters stood up really well. It's fantastic thank you Danny for again for uh, bringing that up and letting me have it to be honest you could have uh, sold it I suppose I did offer I did offer but uh, yeah now I fixed it one of the bottom bars that was obviously to the seaside which is that side there that was bent like a banana I managed to straighten that without bend breaking it as well so still got a slight curve in it because I didn't want to didn't want to do it any further but yeah the back one's fixed there'll be a short video of fixing that so that if anybody else ever have a problem and you can't get a, a new rod from me in gold then uh, at least there's something that you can look watch my video and then fix it yourself if you don't know how well, I'm gonna watch these rods and then I shall start reeling in I'll bring you back for that so we've had two flounder and two codlin and uh, what an enjoyable session it's been blowing the cobwebs off as well so it's been good I've enjoyed it and uh, I've got no pressure now either not that I had any pressure before it's any pressure that I put on myself you know I could go out and blank you still watch my videos if I blank um, you all a lot of you say you just watch it because you just want to see you rabble on and that and uh, others don't like that others like to see me uh, get fishing straight away well you know perhaps it's not the channel for you but thank you for watching anyhow uh, a bit suspect though when you only join a week ago week and a half ago and then put a comment on like that into it but who cares I've been called uh, FA Cup bugger lugs uh, big ears, freckle face, copper coloured top, Duracell, ginger, C, uh, ginger, Effa, f f f f f Docker, you know, whatever, I've been called it, and uh, even been called a twat. I mean, that was just pushing it a bit, I think. But yeah, now, who cares what you're called? When you're ginger, or was ginger, still am in some places but I'm not showing you that um, yeah you just uh, you get hardened by it and uh, when you see people getting all mental because they've been called this that and the other you just shake your head and walk away because you've had it all, all your life until you get to an adult life people are twats aren't they sometimes and yeah, where was I going with this that's just gone off the rails, hasn't it? And gone off on a tangent. A bit like my wife, she goes off on a tangent. Right, what's the wife done this week? What's she done this week? Do you know, I don't think she's done anything. I think she's just been sat on her ass. Have we had any good meals? Do you know, we've had some meals, obviously. I've eaten every night. They've, they've been edible, but nothing's jumped out at me now i mean i am fishing and trying to think about fishing aren't i so
nothing on them rods sorry about that but um yeah so uh yeah wife helped me yesterday in the house i much appreciate that she's an absolute diamond um the amount of time she's cleaned that house and then the bloody someone's gone in there and messed it up because things have changed like the electrics but yeah we've got the house now at the top so i can paint it so she's she's done a good job there the old girl uh what did we have see what did we have today's dinner was cheese on two some spaghetti on top you know that ain't a culinary delight but it is a good meal and then we had cheese on toast the other night. But that was at like 10 o'clock because we were like, that was Saturday night. Um, we had chips, I bought her chips. Well, they were nice chips. We had chips Saturday dinner in the house. So I, I nipped out and got some chips. And they were absolutely lovely. Soaked the vinegar up and everything. They were just perfect. Friday, what do we have Friday? Oh, we had some meal with rice. Oh, I had, we had curry. We had curry two nights. That was nice. And then uh, she surprised me. I come home from work. Well, she said, I've got some more curry. You can have that. That doesn't take 10 minutes. So I got my tea early that night. And another night, I said to her, let's have hot dogs. And we just had hot dogs. And then for breakfast, because there were some hot dogs left and some rolls, I had hot dogs for my breakfast. Only two each day. But yeah, I enjoyed that. Yeah, so she's, she's done all right this week, actually. Nothing major. I think we had chicken or pork, pork chops with some sauce on it or something and some potatoes. That was all right. That was nice. Meal seemed to have got a little bit smaller as well since the daughter's gone, so. Keep watching these rods as best I can. I ought to put my torch on, really, but I haven't. What else has gone on? Not a lot really. Uh, we've done the draw. Well, we ain't done the draw. I've announced the draw for everyone's support and, and everybody, there's no end of thousands. There was 81,700 views in those 13 videos where I did my cod run all the way through. I think I'm now coming up to quite a few videos now on the cod. I'll have a count up. So, uh, yeah, I'll have a count up in a minute and come back and let you know. So, yeah, so uh, I've announced a draw and I'm doing a draw tomorrow. Tomorrow it is at 7 o'clock. So, it was 246 people that commented on my videos in those 13 videos. Um, I think there was over 3,000 comments. I, I did say in the in the live, but yeah, I've got the draw tomorrow, so that'll be good. Hopefully, someone will get the weights that needs them. Uh, it's, it's just a small gift. But it's 25 ounce weights and 26 ounce weights, so that'll certainly stop your lead box up, won't it? And that'll be good. So I'll bring you back when I reel these rods in. There's a bit of a chat there, isn't it? Um, yeah, she's a good old girl, is the old wife. She's, uh, she's got a good point. I'll see you in a bit when I reel that run in. That can only... Trying to get it so I'm out of the wind. Well, we'll try it there. I'll just go over there a bit and fish there. Turn these lights on. that like now let's try that i need to set this up and yeah that's better i'll uh you got a bit of the glue in there but i can't help that right anything on it. I doubt there's any bait on it. 
on it Make a hat with Velcro on it or something, or I can tie it to me ears. Right, right, we'll chuck this out. We'll chuck this out. Out there, straight out behind me to see. It is, it has changed. The weather front has changed. It is getting cold now. I'm not putting my salad pets on. It's too much to do this late in the game, let's say. Not that I can't be asked. It's just that I can cope. I've got hand warmers. Um, I could just do with some, another coat on underneath. Could do my heated jacket really, that'd be nice. It has turned quite chilly but it's wind chill. Um, I think if the wind weren't blowing, it'd be okay. The water's chopped up really quite a lot. And uh, yeah, we're fishing black lug, tipped off with squid now. Probably done with the rag now. I will take it home. I might ring Keith up and ask him if he wants it. I shan't get out anymore this week. It's gonna be quite windy, but Keith's going later on. So uh, he can pick it up and have it, I think. I've got some seaweed, I'll put some water in, let them have a soak in some water and then tip that out. Um, but um, I've got the bait and I've got 10 ounces. I was only getting half a pound, but Scott gave me some extra. Um, he just went through the worm thing. Yeah, they were bits that are broken off and stuff, but I've put them on my smaller hooks and used them. Um, there's still some good long worms in there. So I'll take them, you never know. I might end up using it myself if they're if it's good weather this week and the worms are still all right and Keith don't want them, I'll, uh, I'll use them again, but I don't mind buying a bit of bait now. That's what, if I buy some bait, what is it, 40 pound a month? It's not so bad, is it? Yeah, I've just um, tallied up. I think I'm on session 23 now here. 
catching cod, sorry. So it started in Bay 26, 19. But um, yeah, I think I'm on session 23, which means this is the 10th session catching cod. So not only did I do 12 sessions on the trot catching cod, I've done 10 sessions on the trot catching codlin. So uh, yeah, will I make session 13 again? Is that another challenge? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I could do with going somewhere else now, but it's probably only because it's blowing a gale and it's chilly. If it was daylight or a nice night and warm, um, I'd be quite happy here. But we'll see. It fits in with me at the minute. I'm catching here. Others are going on the beaches and not catching. Well, not catching a lot, so. I'm doing all right here. I'm enjoying coming here. It's a short journey for me and uh, yeah, it's helping me out on the channel a lot, catching these fish. It's good. It's win, 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 win for me. Um, don't always catch, have big catches like I caught six in the last and caught a cod as, cod as well. Just over five pound, literally just, but it was there. So, yeah, it's been great. Tonight, it's just started to rain a bit, but I think it's stopped now. But uh, it's blowing right in my face now, out there. I drove here today without the heater on in the van. I shall be definitely driving home with the heater on, I can tell you that. So I'll bring you back when I reel these rods in. Um, I may put the small uptide Jimmy Kenzaki uptide rod away um, when I reel that in and just fish the two and tide is going out now and then I'll put one of them rods away and that'll leave me one rod left to put away so but it's all good we've caught it's no blank it's been fantastic can't remember if it's free flounder though I think it is free flounder isn't it I think it's free flounder and two codlin I'm not sure see you in a bit after um a few sessions in the sunshine and the warmth it is turning bitter tonight and uh, I'm tired I'm totally relaxed but it's just bitter it's blowing right in my face it's from the north I wish now I'd put my salad pets on because my everything would be warm but I didn't and I ain't doing it now so You'll not hear me moan about being cold, but I might just mention it. I don't think I've mentioned it yet, but I might just mention it, but it's turned bitter. Rain has stopped. But I will be bringing the Kenzaki in shortly and uh, putting it away. Because, like I said, I ain't fishing all the way down. And yes, I know, I catch as it's ebbing away. But today's just been about coming out and fishing. I've, uh, I've I've met all my targets. I haven't got a doubled figure cod yet. I think I lost that in session, the one after the whopper, when I caught my biggest cod. I think, because I had a huge fish on there, I could hardly reel it in and it was banging about all the time then suddenly it was gone. Yeah, sorry, battery went then. I knew it was getting low. I ain't had no problem with batteries tonight. But um, yeah, so I lost a huge fish there, I think, but could have been a blanket, couldn't it? Or a mattress. But yeah, so tonight's just been about coming out. I've added to my total. I'm on 54 cod and caught two codlin tonight. Well, 54 cod, 50 codlin and four cod. Let's get it right. But I'm just gonna say, the total and it's 54 cod stroke codlin I suppose next target 60 in it because I'll come back here another couple of times I think but it'll be on better weather I, I was not looking forward to coming today and then I knew that it stopped raining it did and it was windy when I got here but then it died down but now it's picked up it's gonna pick up to about it's 24 mile an hour now and it's gonna stay that till about three o'clock and then it's gonna get stronger so I shan't be here then I shan't be here much longer but yeah it's been enjoyable 
can't fault it really, can't knock it. Caught fish, not blanked. Blown the cobwebs away, so it's all good. As soon as this tide has dropped a bit more, I'm gonna bring the Kenzaki rod in. I'll still have plenty of water, so I haven't got to go down on the shoreline and walk on them slippery stones. That's the whole idea. And then uh, I'll start bringing the big rods in. I might have another cast, but if the bait, if I bring a big rod in and I think to myself, right, that's it there. Because I know what'll happen. It'll get down onto the rocks and then it'll be the mud. And uh, I'll be packing up and the mud will be showing. And I've done it again. I'll be walking on the rocks, won't I? Don't want to. Not tonight, anyhow. I've done plenty of it. I think it's because it's so windy and cold and I've had these sessions where it's been nice and warm and you just get used to it you know spring is meant to be here you get the odd bad day don't you but as spring moves on it'll get better and better hopefully then we can moan about being too hot but I don't think I will moan this year about being too hot I probably will but um yeah I'll try not to but you know me I'll probably moan Life ain't good without a good moon, is it? Wife don't moan much. Don't know why that is. Distant memories, I think. Right, I'll bring you back when I reel this Kenzaki rod in. Fucking right, bloody camera. It's quite handy that bit of path there, walking along there. And if you pull in, if you really pull in, <laughs> a bit better than pull it off. reel in before the uh, water has gone from the edge of that cedar fence you get this in without it snagging up it's bloody brilliant so it's done its job this is the rod the Jimmy the uh, uptide rod still bait on so it was still fishing Now I have seen Black Lug do the business here, but that was Keith the cod catcher. So that's not Vern. So what I'll do is I'll put this rod away, um, lay it on the bank ready to put everything together. And I'll watch these two Vaselli rods <clears throat> and we'll see what happens. Hopefully uh, we'll get another fish, but it is bitter. You must be able to hear the wind. It is, I think it's more than 24 mile an hour. It's bloody bitter. So uh, blowing from the north, isn't it? It's literally blowing straight across the river now. All right, I shall bring you back when I uh, bring another rod in or I've got something to say. On that nothing on that at all but oh shit gotta be in it to win it ain't you put you here
no end of weed on the oh look at that it's all tangled up See, this is what you don't need. Ghastly conditions. Look at the state of that. That's just getting put away. That's in a knot. That's in a grit knot. Can't be lost. See everything's, because of the conditions, everything's now getting hard work. So I think it's right that I'm packing up early. Um, I've probably got another three quarters of an hour, maybe a bit longer of tide. I can't talk out there. I've probably got about another three quarters of an hour. Oh, that's too flipping bright. If it's too bright, it's too bright. I've got probably about three quarters of an hour left where I can fish. But the weather has beaten me, really. And uh, this is the time where you're going to catch. I haven't got yellow tails. I've only got black lug out there. It's fresh black lug. It's good black lug as well. It's probably the best I've ever had. I would say it is the best I've ever had. Um, I've still got ragworm left, and they're good ragworm. You know, who, who knows if I put the fresh ragworm on, cast out now, probably pull a fish in, wouldn't, wouldn't I? But I've cleared my mind. I've been catching, it's been good. So, uh, yeah, these conditions are not good. I don't like it. We've had some good weather, and now I just want good weather. I don't want it to go back to winter, but the, this week it's going to be a bit, a bit cold, and it's definitely blowing straight across that river. So I'll get this rod put away, and uh, I shall catch you when I reel the next rod in and uh, finish the video off. So, but it's all been good. It's been a great session. You never know; we might have a fish on that last rod. Stay tuned, because you never know. So bloody windy. Oh, it's 
cutting through you. It absolutely cuts through you. So uh, yeah, we'll leave that rod out for five, five, six more minutes, and then we'll uh, reel it in because the tide is going out. The rocks are showing now. I don't mind half the rocks showing because I should be able to get a fish in if I've got it in, and then I won't have so far to walk out on them rocks. But I'm not letting the water go all the way out like I normally do. It might mean that I don't catch another fish because we're now in the hot spot of catching. That's normally with yellow tails. This is the first time with just rag, which I used on the flood and over high, and then it stopped working. So I then went to black lug and squid. I haven't tried a full squid. It's too cold and bitter. So uh, trouble is the wind, because it's right at me from the north, it's blowing up my coat. Now if I'd put my salopettes on, I'd be all right. And uh, I'm now thinking I should have put my um, thermals on from reeds because I haven't used them um, since I got them back with the zip in for me to get the old chap out. Because um, it warmed up and you, you put them on and you're like <sighs> sweltering. So yeah should have thought tonight but it said six degrees and i thought i know that's what a fridge runs at but i thought that wouldn't be too bad but it's this wind when i looked at the weather today it said 13 14 miles an hour gusts but yet again since i turned the computer off and come here it's changed i've just i looked a bit back about an hour ago and it's up to 24 mile an hour gusts increasing as the night goes on so it'll be good to bring this rod in hopefully if we've got a fish on it i can show you return it and then i can pack up the shelter will be the last thing to come down i'll get everything up top and then uh, once the shelter's down i can put the shelter and the rods together and uh, start the walk to the van when i get to that van when i switch it on that heat is going to be on full and it's going to be roasty toasty straight up to the garage take everything out and put it in rinse the reels i'll do the rods tomorrow um uh, and two cans of lager Ooh, two cans of lager and <laughs> flick the heating on yeah right, i shall bring you back when i reel this rod in that will be it for me then we're getting near the end. For those that are like, get to the end. We're getting there, we're getting there. But we've got to have a rattle on. We've got to have a rattle on. See you in a bit. I'm fruz, so I'm uh, reeling this in because I'm absolutely freezing. Um, but I ain't absolutely freezing, but I don't want to feel cold. So uh, I'm reeling this in. Water's down there. I've got half again and I'm then at the shoreline where it then starts getting muddy. So I'm doing it now. Shouldn't really, I should now fish for another half an hour, but I ain't gonna. I've set out what I needed to do and that was clear my mind and that's the main thing. Right. Turn off your f Right, well that's it. There was still bait on the uh, 
There was still bait on. Um, oh, let's do it in there. Gonna have to do it in there because of the wind. So yeah. Well, what a session that's been. I achieved what I wanted to achieve and that was simply to uh, do a bit of fishing and de-stress and that's certainly what it's been. But it has got very cold and windier towards the end of the session. Uh, it's blown straight across the river from the north and it is, it is, it is cold. Um, it's chilling me and I should have put another layer of clothing on. Definitely should have put my salad pets on but my legs are okay. So uh, it's just everything's blowing up my coat and it's just chilling me out. But if I'd put my better thermals on, I'd have been okay. So it's been good. I think I've caught three flounders. I'm not sure. We'll have to count it up as we watch it. Um, and the two codlin at the beginning. Thank God for the uh, Jimmy Kensaki rod. Because it Hacha! did the job, didn't it? Did the job. And that's what that rod is all about. Doing the job. Um learned a bit more today it's first time without yellow tails so perhaps that's it but you know you can only get them when you can get them um i could get them mail order but i don't intend to do that i'm not paying all that extra money so yeah it's been enjoyable uh thank you for watching um if you've got this far please consider subscribing if you want if you are, if you don't want to um and you don't help the channel out then uh thank you for the view because you've inadvertently help the channel out because it'll help the algorithm so uh yeah i hope you've enjoyed this i've enjoyed fishing it we are at 54 codlin stroke cod we've had 50 codlin and at least four cod so it's been great um can we reach 60 who knows if we do we do um my main goal as I got closer to it, was thinking to myself, do you know what, I could get 50. And we absolutely annihilated that in the last video. It was a fantastic session, and I hope you've enjoyed that video, and uh, I hope you enjoy this one. Um, it has been hard work filming with this wind and the chill factor. You have to set everything up and then walk over and hope you've got enough light to pick you up. And with my jacket and my squares on the back, hopefully you'll see me. Uh, I'd like to do, do as much as I can for you to get the best view of me fishing. Don't want it just in the dark and the rod tip. So uh, I hope it's, it'll turn out all right. I won't know until I get home and, and have a look at it and view it. So, uh, so yeah, is that filming? because if it isn't, I'll be absolutely mad. But yeah, so it's it's all good, isn't it? We ain't blanked, we ain't blanked since August. It's uh, soon be a year, won't it? You're gonna blank, aren't you, at some point? But at the minute, I'm fending it off. So, thanks for watching this video. Tom will cut that bit out, hopefully bit of a pause and a delay there old clogs are churning around but yeah thanks for watching uh if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing and uh yeah we're on 54 codlin and cod and uh it's great i've had one of the best fishing sessions for such a long period of time as i've ever had it's been personal bets after personal bets and i've broke my records all the time because i've had nothing to set really but it's been fantastic 54 codlin on this channel and uh, apart from session 13 don't know if i mentioned that session it's been codlin and cod all the way so uh thanks for watching and i'll see you and on
pull in. A bit better than pull it off. Oh, oh, jaw! Boom!